threat of eruption to these volcanic islands is by no means a thing of the past. In 1995, the nearby island of Montserrat exploded. It was the first of many eruptions spanning several years. In some, clouds of superheated ash called pyroclastic flows roared down the mountainsides at nearly 70 miles per hour, incinerating everything in their path. The pyroclastic flows didn't stop when they hit the shore. They carried on hundreds of meters out to sea. In another huge eruption, an ash column rose more than 10 miles into the air. Uh, these areas are extremely dangerous. Montserrat's residents could only look on as their island went up in smoke. This followed a major ash fall which covered Plymouth and the immediate surrounding areas. And just after as the sun was blotted out, tons of hot ash and rock rained down. It was a race against time to get out of the way. All this left parts of the island engulfed in mud and ash up to 10 meters deep. 19 people had lost their lives. Plymouth, the island capital, was once home to 3,000 people. Today, it's a ghost town. Half of Montserrat is now an exclusion zone, and eruptions continue. The last big blast was in 2006. Volcanic mountains don't just dominate life on the islands, but also in the surrounding seas.